Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we have an exciting video. We have an Oakley video which you guys always always love. So I hope you're looking forward to this video. He is by my feet so if you, if the camera's knocked it's him. If he jumps up I'm gonna have to deal with it. So we have an even more exciting Oakley video today because we have started his button training. I am starting this video after so I'm filming like the intro and the outro at the same time in this video because we did it very uh, We did it very out of the blue when we decided we wanted to start with the training buttons because we've had them since Christmas And we've just never found the right time I've been really I think I've been put I put too much pressure on myself essentially for being like oh We need to do it perfect. We need to do it when it's this and we need to do it when it's that and then one day we We're just like should we just do because he was wanting water I think you'll find out in the clips coming up, but we he was wanting something and I was like, should we just, should we just use the button now? And we did. So, we have started it. The reason we wanted to do the button training is the reason I think everybody wants to do the button training and it's that you want to be able to communicate more with your dog in a more like efficient, more human-like manner. It's definitely more kind of a, I don't want to use the word selfish, but we want them to be able to communi communicate the same way as us because it's easier to communicate and it's just really, really impressive. Like, if you're here, you probably know Bunny. Like, it's it's so impressive, the stuff that's coming out about it. It is, I am, if you don't know much about me in terms of like me, I am very much a person who believes in science and things backed by science. Obviously. This is a very, very new thing in terms of research and thing, like bunnies getting actually studied and things, so there's not too much research about it yet, so I'm not in this with the idea of being like, he's going to communicate like a human, and that means he's communicating with us like a human. It's not, it's more just, I want him to be able to tell us things better than like, if he needs a toilet, go on and stand at the door, for instance, like he can be like, right, I need the toilet, and then it says toilet kind of thing. So. I just did it not for a bit of fun, but more just like, uh, we'll see how it goes. It doesn't mean anything, that kind of thing. Also, this video is very much the start of this journey. Please do not watch this video expecting to see him using the buttons correctly, being really, really good at it. Like I've said in the title, this is the first two weeks. It's two weeks tomorrow since we've been using them. And I just wanted to get this video up. So if you see it in other videos, because it's already started, because like I say, I'm filming this like we've been doing it for the last two weeks, it's already started where it's in other videos. So I wanted to get this video up so I can show you what we're doing, show you what it's like. You won't be like, what the heck is that voice in the background? And yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to say before I put the vlog footage in. This is a mixture of phone footage and camera footage because as you can imagine, it happens at literally any point of the day and sometimes I don't have my camera near me and I still want to film it and it's just it's a bit all over the place but hopefully you guys understand why it's a bit all over the place we don't have a camera that we set up that stores footage we have a, a live footage camera for Oakley but it doesn't store footage and we have to pay if we want to do that so I just I grabbed it on my phone I grabbed it on whatever was near so I will put the footage in now and afterwards we will talk about the buttons and how I found them, how he's doing at the minute and all the other stuff. Okay, hopefully I've gave a better explanation in the intro and explained why I'm like a mess. So, we have the recording ones, so I'm going to record it now. We're going to say drink. Drink. Alright, what am I doing now? Hang on, hang on, let's set you up. Turns out you have to hold the button down, so I'm on. I know, baby. Drink. Drink. Right, okay, let's see if he can do it. I don't, I don't think he'll be able to touch it, but we'll try it. Right, pull. Nelly, good job. Nope, come on, pull. Nelly. You can you touch? Drink. Yes! Good boy. Uh, I don't know whether to get it a few more times. We'll try it again. Can you touch? Good boy, Nelly. Press it. Good boy. You touch? Good job. Try again. Touch. 
Okay, right, let's set you down. Touch. Yes. Nelly, good boy. Look at that one. Touch. Yes. Good boy. Again. Try again. Drink. Yes, good boy. Okay. Drink. Good job. Do you want to try again? Do you want to touch it? Okay, try again. That's it, Gwen. You touch. Drink. Good job. He um, he's just been in the car. That's why I'm I am keep giving him water. And also these bowls are tiny, so I don't. <laughs> there you go. So I don't mind giving him. Keep giving it. See if he does it again. Do you want more? You try again. Oh, <laughs> try touching. Good job, Nelly. Try again. I'll try again. Good boy. Good job. Try again. Right, come here. Can you sit? Ready? Look. Can I have your paw? Good boy. Ready? Okay, try. Okay. Sit. Good boy. We'll try and see if we can get it with your paw. Ready? Ready? I know it's scary. Good job. Can you use this? Good boy. And try touch. Good boy. That was Nelly. Try again. And you touch. Go on. Watch. Oh, Nelly. Drink. <gasps> there you go. Okay. Good job. Right, I am. Um, he normally has a water bowl. That one's from Jack's office. He normally has a water bowl in the living room. So I'm going to go put it. Um, next to his water bowl. So it's here. This is a mess because we're still doing some stuff with his crate. But I think I'm going to put it there. And then um, leave it there next to his water bowl. <laughs> oh, I didn't catch it on camera. Oh, man. He just went absolutely crazy on the bus. <laughs> it just started like hitting it like 10 times. We think he thinks it's a toy. What happened there was he was playing with his ball, like his big round red ball that I got on the hall. I'll link that above. And then um, don't touch it again. <laughs> and he was getting excited and then he just ran to the bus and started messing it loads. Uh, Ah, we're gonna have to. I think we need to get a play button. Yeah, do you hear me? Yeah, come on. I think we need to get a play button or like a pets button because I think that's what he thinks that they are. Like, he get, he'll get attention from them if he goes and presses them. So, I think we're gonna have to go get a pets, like, buy a pets button. So, I think Oakley might have just used his first like board button so i'm sitting doing work at my computer so like i'm like here and he's been sitting doing his usual thing i don't know if i've mentioned it but he basically when i sit and work at my computer he doesn't like it like he's like he will constantly just sit and stare at me and cry he doesn't really do it for jack because i think he likes the smaller room and jack's like because jack works in his office i think with this obviously it's quite a big room so he i think he just doesn't feel as settled and he was doing the usual he was sitting staring at me and i wasn't paying attention because i've just had him out and i made him press the button and stuff and i was sitting working and i've got my headphones in 
and he stared and then he's just done it again he's, he just, that's the first time he's went and pressed it of his own accord which is exciting but he didn't need it he's only just been out about like 20 minutes ago and he went for a wee and he went out and just started barking at the dog next door so it's the first time he's pressed it by himself which is exciting but also it's the first time he's done it where I think he's just done it out of boredom so I think we are gonna have to get him another one for when he's just bored so like obviously the min the ones that we are using at the minute are drink and out which are kind of more functional ones so I think we're gonna have to get him another one and get him like a pets or a play one so he can press that when he's just bored because I don't want him abusing the buttons and him just going out when he's bored so exciting but also a bit like ugh. So yeah, that's all right at the minute. It's only the day after, because I, I, I probably explained at the beginning, but it's just kind of, I'm vlogging as I go, because I wasn't feeling well yesterday. And it was only yesterday that we started, and we've used it all of today, where if he goes out, he has to press the button. It's been a bit iffy today, because it's actually, we're going through the kind of like really, really nice weather period. So we have been sitting out in the garden, so he has been going in and out by himself. But now that we're kind of like back in the house, Every time he goes out, he has to press the button. He has been pressing it with his paw now, which is really, really exciting because he was just doing it with his nose. And now, I think after a few times with his nose and he understands what it is, he's just doing it with his uh, paw now. He isn't being as receptive to it to Jack as he is with me because I do the majority of his training. I think he knows that when I ask him to do something, he's got to do it, otherwise we just aren't doing it. Whereas Jack, a few times, has asked him to do it and he's not doing it and then Jack's given up because he's just like well he's not going to do it but with me he doesn't get he doesn't get it until he like he does what he's asked so he's being more successful with me but he is still putting up a fight with some of it like before one um one of the times where we were um taking him out it took like five minutes ish to get him to do it and don't worry he's not desperate for a wee okay it goes out a lot he has like the size of a like pee bladder so he's not like desperate he goes out all the time but he is fighting it sometimes but that, that's exciting that he went and did it himself there but sometimes it's a lot quicker but like i say he's fighting jack with it a bit more so hopefully jack can get the hang of it because i think jack's struggling with it because like before jack gave him the water and i've been doing it where he drinks his water until it's empty because this is the thing that made will want to do it where he he used to sit at his water bowl and just stare at us to tell us that it was empty so i've been doing it where he says drink if his water bowl's empty whereas jack filled it up put it down and then made him ask for water so i think jack's trying to get his head around it as well because i've researched it a lot more so it's going okay hopefully that doesn't happen again happen again i'm not really sure the path to take if he does do that like i don't know whether to just turn the button off and it's still there and he can tap it and then if he doesn't hear it he doesn't get to go out or i don't know whether to cover it up so he can see that it's still there but it's not an option right now or whether to start introducing being like out later kind of thing even though later button's not going to come for a very very long time so i'm not entirely sure i might have to well this thing that's the thing like i found the research like the how-to stuff like really really sparse so i'm not really sure how to research it so i might just have to come up with my own opinion and then do it that way but yeah it's gone quite well not sure how many days it's been excuse the mess of me this video is kind of a bit all over the place because i don't expect to film i'm only filming when something happens so hopefully i've put the date and how long it's been since the last clip but we just had the first kind of like he did it himself kind of thing mm -hmm. so he went over to his water bowls his water bowls were empty and he was doing his normal thing of like standing and staring at her because he's like my balls are empty so i went over made him press the button did it like second attempt really mm -hmm. really quickly he pressed it then i went and got some water put it down and then he was drinking and once he finished the water bowl he pressed his button again to be like it's empty so it's really i, I was really we're really impressed jack is right here we were really impressed so i went and filled it up again he hasn't had another drink so i don't think he was like i need another drink i'm gonna press it i think it was like my water bowl's empty i'll press it again and yeah he didn't it didn't look like it was a playful kind of one where he was like what is this because i pressed it went and filled it up and then he's just like 
chilling doing his own thing now so it's getting there it is getting there without it's still at the same stage and he hasn't really pressed it he still does he's going and standing at the door thing but we're making him do it every time it's still the same where he's like he's he he struggles with you doesn't he to press it mm -hmm. and he does a little bit better with me but he's still like fighting it sometimes he does it easy sometimes he doesn't but yeah it's going it, it was the first time he's done it just of himself so it's exciting so i think we just had the first out prompt that he actually meant he um he went he started going back and forth to the door and standing at the door which is what he does and I just thought, I was like, I need to film it. I feel like he's going to do it because I looked over at one point and he was like staring at the button and I said press, but he didn't do anything. He came back and like thought I was talking to him kind of thing. And then I filmed it and he actually pressed it without me. Like I was like, I was holding my phone, but not looking at him. Cause I think when he sees me looking at him, he's like, I need to do something else. So I filmed it and he did it. I'll pop it in now. Did. France is like really dog friendly apparently, so that's yeah. very exciting. It's like the hotels that we're staying at on the way down. Yeah, good job, baby. Well done. You did it. And I'm so excited. That's the first one that he's done that he actually meant to go out because I can tell from the before he needed it because he stood and stared at me near the door. So it's very exciting hopefully he's gonna keep doing it uh, but you did it baby boy you did it i'm so proud of you you did well done so, so exciting so you are now up to date you are where i am the last footage that i filmed i'm pretty sure was me getting excited that he started to use these buttons more he um he's definitely using these buttons more He's abusing them a little bit now. He will, he's had his buttons took off him a few times because I know I said that I didn't know what, I didn't know what to do. I just ended up taking them off him because he, Oakley just likes to be outside and sometimes it's just not feasible because Oakley barks outside because our, both our neighbors have dogs and also sometimes our neighbors and the, because it's a public path behind our garden. He barks at people which isn't great, I understand that, but it happens and I can't just keep letting him out and let him be outside. So he'll ask to be outside a whole lot and saying no sometimes isn't enough, sometimes it is. Sometimes we'll be like no and he leaves it alone. Sometimes he will just press and press the button the other day, he literally pressed it like 10 times and I was like yeah no, this isn't going to work. So I had to take it off him. I think he he's definitely grasping it now. He When he's distracted he still struggles to press them. So like yes, last night we had our friend Gary over and he struggled last night because he gets very excited and wants to see Gary. So if he's excited, he struggles and I think he doesn't understand the two different buttons yet. So I haven't, I think I'll show them in the video but I'll show them again. So we have the dog talk buttons and they, the, 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 like you've seen, they're recording my voice. So we have water and out and I don't think he understands that there's a water one yet. He uses his out one a lot, but obviously it's water one or drink one. We, ah, ah, off, he knows what they are. We only use when his water bowl's empty, so it's not in as much use. So I don't think he understands the difference between them yet. Something that would be really handy for that is to have the squares, like what, like the company in America does. So really quickly, I'll just talk about dog talk. So these are the only ones that are sold in the UK at the minute. The ones that like Bunny uses and all those big, like TikTok and YouTube accounts use, they're in an American thing at the minute because they're d actually doing the research about it. And I think I, when I looked into it, you either couldn't get them in the UK or it was very expensive to get them in the UK. Dog talk, they, it's just the buttons. Whereas like, I feel like the one in America, it was, like you could get way more support with it like this is literally they give you the buttons and you have to do all the research with it which has it isn't great when they're trying to be a company and be like these are dog talking buttons and then they don't really tell you how to do it i had to do all the research on it i 
found uh, actually another brand's guide on their website and went off that but they don't come with the surrounding kind of tile to keep it in place which is really difficult because they just slide about the floor all the time and he doesn't understand I think he would understand better if they were in the same place that if he presses drink it means a drink so it's not great they are good kind of quality only one thing is if you press it down a little bit like sometimes Oakley does it but it doesn't like trigger it which again isn't great but he's getting better with it but they're just they're not the best I'm kind of gutted that we couldn't use the American ones but they 100% do the job and they're good for now we got the two pack we had to buy them on Amazon they have a website but they only sell on Amazon and as someone who doesn't really like to support Amazon it's not great but it means we got like free delivery and stuff so we got the two pack you can get a four pack I think and I think I don't know if you can get a singular one, but we got the two pack, which it's all right for now, but we definitely want to be able to, we definitely want to buy some more because we want ones that, like I've mentioned, where we can give him like attention so he doesn't click out so much when all he's wanting is attention. So yeah, anyway, it would be better if we could have tiles to put them on, but I don't think they sell anything like that, so we have to might come up with that. I think that'll play a big role. Now, so I think I've mentioned we're kind of like rejigging his space at the minute. And we're kind of near the end of that now. So now we've got a bit more room. Might be a bit better because we can like position the buttons and keep them there. Or maybe put some like blue tack on the bottom to keep them still. So, God, I talked for ages there. So yeah, I think he's getting a bit confused because they keep moving about. But the main... Thing at the minute is he's definitely grasping it he definitely knows how to press them but he just abuses them a little bit at the minute in terms of training we did well I did leaned it up to the buttons I thought it would be helpful to talk about that because I don't think I have I might have I'm so sorry if I'm repeating myself like that was two weeks ago when I first did the first clip we did a lot of touch training so uh, Oakley knew touch anyway where if I put my hand out and I said touch he has to touch the palm of my hand with his nose we, I, I kind of ramped that up when I knew we were starting to going to use the button soon and then I tried using it as a, oh, as a point so I pointed something to say touch and then he'd have to like touch it with his nose and then I struggled like I say I, we didn't have a training guide with them I had to like try and research I struggled with the concept of being like okay but he's using his nose so how do I then get him to use his paw and he could, he did that himself. I used, I did touch and he did it with his nose the first few times that you saw in the clips. But he transitioned from his nose to his paw all by himself. I think he just understood that he needed to press that. So he pressed it however he wanted. The main thing that helped was definitely the touch training. I don't think I did any other type of training apart from... We're quite vocal with Oakley anyway. So whenever we took him out, we always say it out. Before we did the training, the button, sorry, we were kind of asking him to tell us when we went like when he wanted to go out anyway like we'd, if we were sitting on the set a we'd ask him do you need to go i'm not going to say it because he's right there but o-u-t and he would he would look at us and then run to the door if he needed to go out so we were already quite verbal with him so if you're not verbal with your dog anyway it might be a bit harder we always talk him through what we're doing like if we go o-u-t we say it if we take him on a walk we'll say it if we if he needs a drink, we'll say it. So that probably laid a strong foundation for these anyway, but the touch training definitely helped. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. Like I've said, it's just kind of the beginning of, <laughs> the beginning of his training with them. Hopefully it's gonna get better because we're getting a bit sick of him abusing the buttons at the minute, but we're enjoying it. We like it. We like him being able to go over and press it himself. He definitely does it more when we're in proximity to the buttons. So when I'm sitting at my desk, he'll press it more. Whereas if we're both sitting at like the settee, like the lounge area, if you've watched my videos, you'll know the layout of our living room. But he won't do it if we're like not as close to it. But he's getting there. We like it. And yeah, we're going to keep going with it. I don't know if we're going to off. We don't know if we're going to buy any more buttons soon or whether just stick with the two. But I'll vlog the whole process and let you know. If you did enjoy this video, please leave it a like. 
uh, I always, I don't know how I say it, uh, with Oakley videos, just know I'm very picky in terms of the comments that I allow. I've had a lot of hate with Oakley in the past and if I don't want to obsess over that comment and read nasty comments, I will delete it. You don't have to say that I'm like stopping people saying what they think. If you go back on all my old video, there's a lot of videos probably saying something you've already said if it's a bad thing. So just know that I will delete your comment if it's nasty, but thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave it a like and subscribe so you can see how he gets on. And that is gonna end the video. <laughs> we shall see you in another one. Bye.